Hey, John Cristani here, and I've been able to build a business that does $7 million a year with zero employees, just myself. And the way I've been doing able to do that is being extremely productive. And I'm going to be talking about some of lessons from the success mindset right now. And this lesson is about creating a budget for your business and how to do that. And I'm going to give you practical examples of what I've been using in my own business to help you do the same in yours. Now, even if you don't have a business, if you don't have any money even, if you don't have any income from your business, this is gonna be important. So stay tuned, watch along, and let's become successful together. Okay, so creating a business budget is very important when you're starting a business. And there's a two main factors that are gonna help you out here. Now, why create a budget? A lot of people, when they're starting off in business, I'm assuming the majority of you watching right now are just thinking to yourself, what's just this thing I can do on the internet that'll just make me lots of money? That isn't necessarily going to work. You really need to, if you haven't watched my previous videos on becoming successful, you really need to envelop it with goals. You need to have an, a specific outcome. You need to measure yourself. You need to have measurable actions that you can do each day. And the same goes for not just how you spend your time, but how you spend your money. Now, if your business budget is, let's say it's $5, it needs to be specific. And it also needs to be time constrained. You have $5 a month to spend. Put the money out there, okay? Make sure, write it down. Because what happens, and I've seen this all the time, is people say, ah, oh, I have $5,000 in my bank account and I'll spend it if the right opportunity comes along. The issue with this is you'll get cold feet or you'll say, okay, I have $5 a month to spend and you'll spend maybe a dollar in advertising, but you won't get any results. And you'll say, oh, I'm jumping out of this. Don't do that because you don't give yourself a chance to succeed. Now, what I've done is I'll use TV ads as my example here. Now, when I was starting TV ads, for instance, I gave myself a budget of $5,000 per week that I was willing to spend. Now, obviously, you know, maybe that's different from what your budget is. But that was my budget for testing out TV ads. I wasn't going to spend a single dollar more or a single dollar less than $5,000. I was going to spend $5,000 every single week until I got profitable. Now, the natural inclination with advertising is to say, I'm gonna spend $5,000, but if I don't get good results, I'm gonna spend like less than that, right? Wrong. You wanna have a budget set up for yourself if you pursue advertising. Set a budget, $50 a week. Maybe it's $5 a day. Maybe it's $1,000 a month. Whatever your budget is, write it down, set it hit it every single month. And you can time constrain it even more. You say you're gonna spend $5,000 a month or whatever it is for six months. And if it doesn't work out, you stop advertising. But you have six months in which you're going to be doing this activity, trying to make a business work. I found that six months is a good barometer for figuring out to give yourself that window where you can actually succeed in a business but also be able to figure out if the business is just not meant for you. Because not every business is meant for everybody. But if you don't give yourself six months to try something out and work your way through the obstacles, then really you have very low chances of succeeding. What normal people do, and what I used to do when I was in college, was I would start a business, and then it, you know, maybe it would work, maybe it wouldn't. Oftentimes it wouldn't. Then I'd go to something else, the next month. And then each month I was running a new business and I never gave myself a chance to succeed at any one of them because in college I was just trying everything but succeeding at nothing. Now where I actually became successful was when I locked down on one thing such as affiliate marketing and I just zeroed in on a single business and worked at it for, I don't know, it was like two years. I was trying to get this to work, to get affiliate marketing to work, where I could spend $1 and make back two or three. But it takes time. So give yourself the budget. Understand that success is a process. That marketing is not an instant gratification thing. That becoming an entrepreneur is not instant. It's a part of a process that you go through. And time constriction helps 
ease yourself because that fear of losing whatever your $50 budget a week is or $50 a month is, fear of losing that money can be very overwhelming. But if you know you can stick to $50 a week of ad spend for the next six months, then it just becomes almost a rule. It becomes a job. It becomes a thing you have to continue on doing. It's not a choice anymore. It becomes much easier because you don't have to make that decision. You've already made the decision to do $50 a week in ad spend no matter what. And that's another thing that comes back to is my YouTube channel. So when I started YouTubing, I made a commitment. At first, I put up a lot of random videos. I just kind of shoot myself on my camera phone. I actually had a camera phone at the time. It has a camera, but it's a flip phone. It doesn't shoot very well. And I would just shoot random videos when I felt like it, when I was out on a run, whatever it was. Usually it was when I was on a run and I'd shoot myself a couple times a week, maybe once a week, maybe I'd miss some weeks. Whatever it was, I'd just shoot some videos and I never saw any growth or traction on my YouTube channel. I made a New Year's resolution that I was going to shoot a video every single day of the week, five days a week. I put up five videos a week, no matter what. I had to figure out how to do that. Now, some weeks, it's been really difficult, honestly, to do that. I've made that commitment each year since then. January 1st, 2019 is when I started my YouTube channel, when I made the commitment. And I made that commitment again this year. It's been really difficult because oftentimes I don't know what to say anymore. Every video on affiliate marketing I've already talked about. I've talked about every single ad network. I've talked about 5,000 ways of doing affiliate marketing. It actually gets kind of frustrating because I started measuring how many people actually listen to the advice in my videos and actually take action. And I realized it's only about 1%. And that's kind of frustrating. You know, 99% of people don't actually do anything based off of my videos. And then there's a lot of nasty comments and all sorts of stuff. And sometimes it gets hard. Sometimes I just have so much work in my normal business because this is not a big income source for me. Sometimes I have so much work in my normal business that I have zero time to shoot videos for YouTube. Sometimes I have personal situations or emergencies or, you know, family things, or, you know, I get invited to go to some great party or some trip or to play in the pool with my kids or whatever it is. And I just don't feel like making videos. I just feel like skipping a week of videos, right? But I made a commitment. And when you make a commitment to do something, and you make it specific and you make it time constrained, almost like a budget. I'm gonna put out five videos a week and you have to follow it. And that's part of business is discipline, follow a budget. And the big problem with discipline right now is actually smartphones. Smartphones are the worst thing for discipline ever. I have another video about getting off of your smartphone. Phone addiction is the biggest killer of entrepreneurs. But that's what I have for today. Again, if you're getting into marketing and advertising, especially affiliate marketing and online advertising, which is what I do and my students do. Set a budget for yourself that you're comfortable with and give yourself a time period to go through it. If you haven't already, I suggest you join my super affiliate system course. There should be links down in the description. We recently re-released it. We completely overhauled everything. Everything's new as of last week. We now include a lot of software in it. So it's a combination of software and training. So what used to take folks about eight hours to launch an ad campaign, we've taken that whole process down to about 20 minutes. And that is because we are now giving you your guaranteed acceptance into Digistore and ClickBank, which are large affiliate networks that pay out about 700 some million dollars per year. Also, you are given a domain when you join Super Affiliate System, a free domain from us, free web hosting, so you don't have to pay anything additional for a website or hosting or any of that stuff. You don't need to know anything about that stuff. We give you a free web page builder that sort similar to ClickFunnels, except the problem with ClickFunnels is that it still requires you to fill in the blanks and to understand how to put a link in, and to have marketing expertise. You don't have to have any of that when you join Super Affiliate System. We literally give you the top performing landing page templates for the top products on these affiliate networks that pay out $700 million a year. And we give you top performing ads and we make it very simple to post those ads so you don't even need to know your way around the Google and Facebook interface. You just click 
post. Now, that being said, it sounds super simple and it is, but you know what we teach inside my program is how to get better at it. While the setup process has been taken down from about eight hours to 10, 20 minutes to actually launch an affiliate campaign, we teach and a lot of the training revolves around learning how to write better ads, learning how to find, create better landing pages, how to do better research and data analysis so you can really become a marketer, a successful affiliate marketer. So hope you enjoy that. Check the links below in the description. If you enjoy these videos, these videos are not made for the YouTube algorithm. So if you're seeing these, you are very special. And please support this video with a like, a subscribe, and comment. Let me know how this was helpful or just let me know where you're coming from in the world. Thanks.